Imagine living next door to a burned out pile of rubble. We've told you about the motel turned eyesore in Wilcox. Neighbors there worried. Is that mess left behind making them sick? Our Kevin Keene gets some answers. You can't miss it. Wood, metal, brick, walls, doors, and roofs. An enormous eyesore right when you head into Wilcox. It's not a good first impression. A fire did this to the Desert Inn Motel nearly a year and a half ago. The ugly aftermath remains. But the eyesore is the least of neighbors' concerns. They want to know, is this safe? It is a danger zone for us here. The concern? The hotel is nearly 50 years old, so there's good reason to think asbestos is here, exposed to wind and rain. If there is asbestos, what's it doing to the rest of the community? A basic question the city could not answer. Is what is on that property safe? You know, we don't know, uh, Kevin. Don't know because no one ever tested for it. If you think you have asbestos, pull someone in, have it tested. Doesn't take a rocket scientist. So, none on your side called the state, and the Environmental Quality Department sent a team of inspectors. They took pictures and samples of pipe insulation and a chunk of ceiling, then ran the tests. The results of the inspection, no deficiencies found. What we found is that the materials that we tested didn't have um, high concentrations or high enough concentrations of asbestos containing materials. The state finds there is asbestos here, but not above the legal limit. Neighbors are relieved, but this eyesore remains. In Wilcox, Kevin Keene, Kega Nun on your side. The city of Wilcox is working to have the courts find out who's responsible for cleaning up that mess. Is it the owner or the bank? Well, we called the city attorney for an update today. So far, we have not heard back.